All right, guys, how you doing? Um, I'm going to do a quick, another, <laughs> what I call quick is like 15 minutes, but sorry, it just goes. I got my new doser. This is a, a more expensive doser. Oh, God, I don't even know what the name of it is. It's the FX4 um, KMOR. KMOR FX4. It's just got a way better app for... Uh, tracking dosing you know when it doses it divides it out through how many periods every hour of the day so if you're going to dose 15 mils a day it divides it out throughout every hour so it's like 0.8 mils every hour so it distributes it evenly all day which i really like um and it's just a high-end doser it's made of metal everything's plastic there's no metal parts anywhere in there so nothing rusts it's all plastic built on purpose so water and chemicals don't ruin it um Eventually, once it's all installed, I'll, I'll go over it more. So I want to do an update on this here. Um, the Auto t Auto Aqua Smart Auto Water Change Touch. So I've been using it for top off, but I had my sensors installed in here in the refugium chamber. And I noticed that the level in here doesn't change. Even though this one here changes, this one stays the same. So it wasn't working right. It wasn't topping off properly. And the auto water change feature would not work. Uh, it definitely didn't work. This chamber would go all the way down and over here would still be the same once again. So it wouldn't know to stop adding water and to add water. So nothing on the directions, nothing on their website says anything about where to put the sensors. So I emailed them and they said to put them in the return chamber, which was my next guess, because this chamber reflects your water. If you let some out, this comes down. If you put some in, it comes up. So I put them back here. They're hard to see, but they're right there. Um, I got the high one and the low one. Maybe you can see it better, yeah, like that. If I put it on up on there like that, you can uh, see them. There's bubbles in there right now due to my skimmer. My skimmer hasn't skimmed in a while because uh, I intrude, there's no 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 matter no more organic waste in the water yet. Uh, I've been leaving it turned off until today. I've been running it for a couple hours to see if it's ready to start skimming it. But anyways, I just wanted to mention those level sensors have to go in your return chamber. They won't work anywhere else because the water does not change in the other areas. Um, but I found that it's a little busy in here. There's a lot of stuff in the way. Um, and that was, oh, that was an issue. Sorry about that. I bumped my gimbal. But anyways, in here, we've got so many wires. They're all touching each other. Uh, and there's a float in there for my filter setup. So I got to make sure none of that stuff gets in the way. It's just getting a little busy in there for everything. I mean, it's just so crowded. I zip tied most of my wires together to keep them out of the way, but they're still slightly in the way. I'm gonna have to zip tie them a little better. It's hard to reach in there. But anyways, just know if you have one of these Auto Walk Aqua top off units, make sure you put your level sensors in the return. That, that's all I'm saying, um, because it says nothing in the directions, nothing on their website. And I had a hard time finding a way to contact them. And then when I finally did, they did respond and say, put it in their return. But then they said, contact someone in the United States with further questioning. So I contacted the wrong place. I mean, I don't know why it's so hard to contact a place for tech support, but it's just impossible. All right, so it's just a very quick update on that. Uh, my chamber in here is still getting a lot of shit in there. The fleece roll, look how brown it is. My water is disgusting looking. Um, this stuff in here, still not seeing any change. It's only been a few days. Hopefully in a month, uh, it'll have grown a little more. But I can't tell yet. Everything else is the same. Nothing else has changed. My tank is still maturing and building up its uh, biological filtration. The ammonia is down to 0.25, but it's still not at zero. All right. That's it for, for this video. Thank you for watching.